I'm Melissa here and monthly favorites October monthly favorites and also a special guest appearance more of a voice appearance because many of you have requested that my husband kind of be in the video or be in the background uh, while I'm filming because you rather enjoy the interaction that I suffer through on a daily basis so for you for you <laughs> he's sitting here Eating Twix bars. Honey, would you like to say hello to everybody? First of all, I'm not eating Twix. I'm in the Snickers. <laughs> Freaking excuse me. It's Snickers. I would like to say I'm wrong. I was wrong. It's Snickers. No, it's something that will happen in this house very often. Oh. <laughs> He's a liar. Liar. And right, yes. Before we start, can we do the gentry joke? Uh, sure. Okay. So... Our six-year-old the other day and normally she's a horrid joke teller like we're always like oh yeah that's dumb she's not dumb but things that she say is dumb and we we feel like it's part of our responsibility as parents like we're not sending you out in the world saying dumb things so normally she's like oh yeah you stupid pants or like crazy so she's like hey she's like I got a knock knock joke and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm gonna pass but thanks and she's like come on and I was like okay fine honey will you do it with me yeah. Okay. So this is Gentry, and I know she said, I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I still think that's hilarious, but I do. It's like the funniest thing that she's ever said or done. Say it's not funny. It was funny. Okay. So she should have kind of left on a high note, but she didn't. So later on in the car, she's like, I got another one. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she's like, knock, knock. I'm like, who's there? She's like, interrupting pig. I'm like, no. No. That, your moment is over. It's past. So, okay, monthly favorites. Uh, not in any particular order, because it never is. That would require me being organized. But uh, Revlon. And a lot of you are going, oh, yeah, we kind of already knew that. Don't get cute. Mm hmm Okay, don't. Uh, Revlon Nearly Naked. I know I've mentioned this before. However, I'm not just saying, oh, it's my favorite foundation this month. No, 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 no. I mixed it up a little bit. Look at this. Mm hmm Revlon Nearly Naked and the It Celebration Foundation. Um, I won a contest, a retweet contest from It Cosmetics. They sent me a whole entire boatload of cosmetics, and I've been playing with them. I do have a review coming up, but these two things together, and I don't mean I put this on my entire face and then this over it. No. What I do is I use this right in here, only because I refuse to put powder anywhere near my eyes and under my eyes, because no, no. Uh, it doesn't look good on me. So I'll start off with this and just put it right in that area and then use this everywhere else as a regular foundation. And I'm going to be honest, I'm really, really surprised by this. I was not expecting to love it as much as I did. It's definitely the most unique powder foundation that I've ever seen or used. And I, I thought it would be cakey or look cakey and, and, and it doesn't. And, I, and I'm not getting into the full review now, but I just, I'm so pleasantly surprised and impressed by this that... It, it's been my go-to this month with this. Uh, like I said, just right around here. Okay? Right, right here. Okay. Now polish. Uh, just because it's laying here on the ground. The <laughs> I'm sure they don't look so attractive. However, this combination of color, colors, I'm sure somebody will be like, oh, your cuticles look whatever. I have four kids and I coupon and I clean a lot. So, don't I, honey? Do I clean a lot? Oh, yeah. Miraculous. Shut up. All right. Um, this right here. This was an accident, actually. I had bought this. No, that was the cleaning comment. What was the cleaning comment? An accident. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm kidding. I love him. We, we have that little... Mm. All right. I'll deal with you later. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was an impulse purchase at Kroger because, look, it's glittery and pink. And it had breast cancer awareness on it. So, like, oh, I'm donating. I'm contributing to charity. And, and no, I don't. I mean, I know a little bit of it goes there. But it's just kind of how I talk myself into it. So, I bought this. And I was wearing it by itself because I just thought it was that pretty. It's like gold. It's gold. A lot of the glittery stuff that I have is silver. But this is gold and pinky purple. And then I was at Walgreens a little while later. And I had had it on my nails. And I saw, oh, by the way, this is your glitter be good. You, <laughs> no, it's not. You glitter be good. Like, you better be good, but you glitter be good. I'll list everything below that I'm talking about in the order that I'm talking about it. 
below. And so I had this on my nails and I was at Walgreens and I was looking around at nail polish because, you know, I don't know, when you have 100 or 200 nail polishes, you need more, right? Don't you, honey? Yeah. No, you don't. Anyway, as I was saying, I was in Walgreens and I saw the new Essie Fall Colors out and I picked this one up because it just looked very pretty to me and I kind of held it in my hand while I was looking at it and then I saw it next to this, which was on all of my fingers and I was like, oh, it's the perfect combination ever isn't it okay maybe it's not but it is for me and I literally literally have had this combination on my nails for two and a half weeks two and a half weeks because it's that good I had to actually I had it on for a week took it off took a breather for a day or two and then put the same exact combination on because I love it I love it I love it I don't have anything else like it and that's that's all there is to it and the Essie color is the lace is on the lace is on but uh no i just i if you don't go out and get this right after this video you're wrong you're wrong and uh you know some of you are just gonna be while wrong. we are nail colors i want to let you know what's been on my toes since when did we go to tunica we got in october yeah uh, no end of September. All right, nails. Since we're already on nails, I'll finish out with the other two nail products that I have. And on my toes, uh, husband and I went for a little weekend getaway to Tunica, Mississippi about a month ago. It was the end of September that we went. And he, he he's such a good man that he spoiled me and I went and got a facial and I got a pedicure and a manicure. And for my pedicure, I had them put on this. And it's the Revlon Color Stay nail polish in red carpet and then I had her top it with this the insta dry and this is in my monthly favorites last month it's making it again look at you can see actually see how much there's only like that much in there it's in here again because it's that good uh, I had her put this on this on top uh, whatever base coat that she put on and I had touched it up once I did one touch up with this and then this again and that has lasted me a month a month and that's ridiculous. I've never had a pedicure last that long. Obviously, it's grown out a little bit of the cuticles, but for it to last that long, I was just nothing but happy. And again, it's a Revlon product. I just, I really love the whole Revlon line in general, except their eyeshadows. Revlon, if you are listening to me, I know you're not, and it's okay, but I like to hear my own voice. No, I don't. But uh, your eyeshadows suck. You got some good blushes, uh, not great blushes, you got some good blushes, but your foundations and your nail colors. All right, the and point is, is that great nail colors, great foundation, great powders, whatever, whatnot, lip, oh, lip, oh, mm, awesome lip products, but their eyeshadows, no, no me gusta their eyeshadows at all. But uh, love me some Revlon. All right, I'm, I'm over it, I'm gonna move on. Look at this little box that I have here, you can see it, it's below the camera this you've seen this before it's coming back out because we are over with summer thank goodness summer is gone because i had enough i just had enough i was using the neutrogena ultra dry touch ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen in 100 for the summer but i'm back on this it's moisturizer and spf 50 l in one dermatologist recommended and that's it love it use it the whole entire year round the summer months when I'm a freak about sunblock and I use 100. If you're not wearing sunscreen, you should 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. Don't get me preachy about it, okay? No. Blush. Let's talk about blush real quick. I'm reaching over here because <laughs> I dropped my blush brush. This is something I've shown before. A lot of you probably know what this is. If you watch Emily Noel, uh, she, pro she introduced this to everybody. It's the e.l.f. stipple brush. Who's Emily Noel? Who's Emily Noel? <laughs> She is, uh, she's actually a guru where I'm, I'm not. She's like a legit guru and uh, she's somebody. She makes makeup videos and she has for a long time and she's like good. She's like really good. Are you done? I don't know her. That's because you don't watch makeup videos. There's a reason for that. What's the reason for that? I don't wear makeup. That's a good thing. That's why I married you. All right. Anyway, the Elf Stipple Brush 
small stipple brush this thing is amazing I have another one I don't clean my brushes before videos because I rarely clean my brushes go ahead and judge me and put your little thumbs down it's okay I can deal but um, I used this actually before this video love this and the thing that I've been using this with the most this month is this the Chanel cream blush and this one is in fantastic and it's ridiculous if you look at it really close you're gonna say hey there's really not much used she, it, it just doesn't even look like she used it a lot this month she probably just used it a couple times and said that um, you're a little paranoid number one okay and that's not the case uh, because I'm gonna show you why I'll show you my hand because I'm such a good swatch person when it comes to that it's ridiculous this stuff is so pigmented look at okay well first of all I'll do this so you see that there's not already a ton of color on there I'm gonna go like this one two three I didn't even rub it I dabbed it look at that ridiculous this stuff is so pigmented that you I will have this forever which I'm fine with but all I do is dab it in there a couple times and then dab it on my hand just to get the excess off and and then I go in there and deal and do what I need to do with it so I absolutely have used this a ton this month and I know it doesn't look like it but you just don't need a bunch because it wow it's really pigmented if you're not careful you will look like a crazy clown crazy crazy clown They're so scary. they are scary Carrie Bradshaw sex in the city what does she say there's nothing scarier than a clown mm -mm. I, I don't know I don't find them too scary I don't know I've seen some of the people that do videos and husband said I've seen a lot of people that do videos there's a lot of clowns don't be judgmental honey all right moving good. right along next eyes this look right here and some of you are going <laughs> it's not really a look it is this month or last month it has been uh, I have been busy this last month I started couponing again uh, a lot and it's been very time consuming if you want to know about that you can check it out on my other channel which is 30 plus some more 30 plus some more. How about that for shameless self-promotion? Anyway, the point is, due to that, more I do more what? It's like 30 plus some is my channel, and then if you can't, just can't get enough of me, <laughs> I know, right? That's then I'm stuck in that channel's hell, then. Anyway, <laughs> if you want something other than beauty stuff and you want other stuff, it's 30 plus some more. More other stuff. Oh, well, that's great advertising. If you want more stuff, do you think I'm in the middle of television here? I'm in the middle of I'm on YouTube. Really? Anyway. More stuff. Okay. Well, that sells it. I'm gonna try. I need to flip on over to see stuff. I will divorce you. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, uh, this is what I've been doing. Very quick, like three, five minute makeup. Uh, a little bit of foundation, one color on the entire eye, eye, eyes, and it doesn't look like a ton has gone there either because I just finished another one, which you'll see in my empties. You'll see it in my empties. This is Clinique Daybreak, and I kind of went on a little bit of a rampage in another video about Clinique, and they're kind of a 90s brand, which they need some remarketing and rebranding. However, their, their products are quality, they're pigmented. I don't even know if you can tell from that because I have bad swatchiness. Um, but this is my perfect highlight color, all over color, everything. So I put that on, I put some mascara on, little lip stuff, some blush, and bam. Yeah, bam, I'm gone. Uh, this has been the look I have been, this has been the minimal makeup I have been wearing all month because I just, I'm just very, very busy, busy. Mm. But uh, Clinique Daybreak, again, everything will be listed below. A couple other things, uh, this. It. This is another it product that I got in that uh, prize package. This is the Brow Power. It Brow Power. And it's supposed to be one color is all because you can do like light. <laughs> light if you have light colored hair and then medium and then dark. But I will say this. I am so crazy impressed by this. I love this. I normally use the Revlon Brow Fantasy. That's what I have used up until this point, and it's got the little spoolie on this end here. Um, I'm not saying at this point what I like better or more. I'm just saying that I've really, really enjoyed this this month. It's been a favorite this month for sure for browness and stage. It's got some good stage. Staying powder. Powder? 
power. I know stage is not a word. I'm just kind of throwing a little bit of ridiculousness out there. I don't know. Okay, so All a couple right. more things and I'm gonna let you go. Uh, this, this, these tweezers. Look at that, see the light? Oh, you're blinded, aren't you? No, you're not. But um, tweezers with light. This may be old news to a lot of you or some of you. This is new news to me. I just ordered these a little while ago and I am astonished. <laughs> of course, it doesn't take much to get me there, but uh, I am. And the reason is because I normally, I pluck every day. That may sound crazy to some of you. Some of you may not be related to Eddie Monster. I don't know. If I don't pluck every day, it gets crazy. These things will attach here. They'll grow down here to my eyebrows. They'll connect with my hairline. It'll be a, it, it'll just be an epidemic. It will be. You'll have to take my word for it. So normally I will take my little mirror that my, that has you know what four or five times magnification i don't know and i'll get a lamp and i'll like put the lamp in my lap and point the light up and that's worked for a long time <laughs> i mean that sounds kind of ridiculous but it has until i found these and i i love these things I, they will be my life forever they're not super super expensive i got these at walgreens you can get them anywhere anywhere but i really really like getting my light and i can see what's going on up there and up there and I cannot say enough good things about these little tweezers. I don't even, I don't even think there's like a brand name. You can find them in any drugstore, I'm sure. I'm sure you can. Um, and you know, you can take that little thing right off there if you have to replace the battery. I haven't had to do so yet, which is, uh, which is good. Of course, they're not on for that long every day, but they're on. All right, moving on. Uh, I recently did my Concealer Chronicles Part 2. If you haven't seen them, I'll link them below and uh, talk about concealer and a corrector uh, but I wanted to definitely mention to you the my holy grail all-time favorite corrector I've been using it a lot this month because I feel like not feel as the months get later and colder and darker I, I get darker it just is so this is the Armani master corrector this is the number two it comes in one and two the one is pink based this is orange based I love this. It's in high, They say it's a high definition corrector. You can see right there. It la It's expensive, but it lasts forever. I, I literally take this out and put a dab here, a dab there. I blend it in, put my concealer over it, and I'm done. It, it, it works. I have found a drugstore one that I'm using right now. I don't even want to like really get you excited about it until I'm completely done testing and reviewing it because you know it's all scientific up in this house. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. All right, but I have found one in the drugstore that I really like. I'm going to let you know about it. But this is the Armani Master Corrector, number two. And again, it's expensive, but it lasts forever because you need such a little bit. It's so good and it works. It works, it works, it works. Okay, two lip products and I'm going to let you go. Uh, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, Oh, God help him. <laughs> Jackass. Anyway, uh, you may or may not know that I have a lip product issue. At any one given time, I will pile on pretty much about six to eight products at one time because I like mixing my own. If someone came Unless to me you and move your lips so much, it cracks. That's just that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. No one's laughing. I don't hear anyone laughing up in here. Do you? Continuing mm -hmm. on, if you watched me for any length of time. I have a tendency to overuse lip products. If someone came to me and said, hey, we want you to make a makeup line and you can pick anything you want, I'd pick lip products. Just because even though the six to eight products I pile on probably look like something else you could buy in one product, I feel that, you know, it's my own special unique color. No, I don't. Uh, but I, I just go through that process, I don't know why. However, I have found two things that I have loved, been loving, always loved really. This, uh, another IT product, imagine that. No, they're not paying me. No, this isn't sponsored. I just enjoyed playing with it. This is the, is the Je Ne Sais Quoi Vitality Lip Color Stain fl Stick. Stain Flush Stick. Uh, it's one of those, it's like the Dior Lip Glow. And it's supposed to mix with your chemistry to give you your own little special perfect color. And this is the bigger one. This is the one that could be used in your cheeks too. And I've used that in my cheeks too. And it's awesome on your cheeks also. But I've been, I have a little lip, lip gloss size, like a little lipstick size that I've been using. I wear this by itself. I have no problem doing that. And also, this is the Clinique Black Honey. Let me, let me, I don't know why it will show up. You know, it's just kind of transparent there. And you can't even really see there. 
but it does mix with your lip with your body chemistry and gives you your own little special color and then this it looks like it would be crazy dark it's not it's not here see that that's not crazy dark and that was kind of even a heavier swatch I mean you can go super light I mean, you could go that's ridiculous you go crazy dark and break it oh that's absurd anyway the point is is that I can wear this by itself or this by itself and I love it and that is really really crazy for me to say about a lip product because I love layering them but these are awesome if I had to pick between this and the Dior lip glow and I've used both I'd pick this and the reason why is that it's a little bit more moisturizing and it lasts just a little bit longer than the lip glow does and I don't mean like the product lasts it lasts on your lips and it just feels a little bit better I still like the Dior lip glow however uh, I probably uh, not probably I'm gonna purchase this first and before and more than the Dior lip glow and I'm, I'm really glad that I have gotten it into my life okay I wanted to let you know about two myths also my uh, makeup myths I actually have a crep products video which I call Melissa's makeup myths just you know I thought it sounded a little bit nifty uh, or not the point is is that this elf flawless found flawless finish foundation the reason this is a myth is because it broke me out and and maybe that's my issue with my skin I will say this I I'm mad that it did I, I wish it didn't because it's a good foundation it's got great coverage it lasts it, it's nice but it broke me out like I don't even know what and I don't have sensitive skin no other foundation I have ever used before has ever broken me out so I'm not sure what's in there so if you I guess I want to say if you don't have sensitive skin try it but I don't have sensitive skin and it broke me out anyway if you're looking for I guess it's not really a myth is it I don't know the point is, is if you're looking for a really good foundation uh, that's not very expensive it's six dollars for this it's nice it works it lasts but there's something in it that broke me out I don't know who cares if it's not a myth it's not the point is it broke me out that's why it annoyed me the other thing I guess this is kind of a quasi myth too the NARS lip glosses I have gotten to this is Turkish delight because don't you know Kim Kardashian loves it uses it it's her favorite and I am convinced that any Kim Kardashian product I try will instantly turn me into her and it won't the point is is that I have no issues with this formula with the lasting power with the staying power the issue I have with this what the hell it smells like plastic it smells like it almost smells like burning plastic and that's not enjoyable not that you sit there and sniff your uh, lip like no it doesn't not that you sit there and sniff your lip gloss all the time I have no it just it's no that thing on Saturday Night Live do you remember the girl that used to sniff herself oh my god Mary Margaret Catherine ew the point is is that really NARS as much as you charge for this you can't put some kind of a I don't know even quasi pleasant scent in there I'm not even asking for something perfect that I love, like cupcakes and frosting and everything. Uh, this is ridiculous. That's so, the husband's crap pick of the week. Is it the husband? Uh, the, oh, we might have we might turn that into something. Husband's crap pick of the week. I don't it know. Cost me money. Turn <laughs> check. Anyway, uh, no, I'm gonna use this in the other one that I have because I like the colors, I like the formula, but the smell. There's a lot of other lip glosses out there that are just as quality that don't smell like this. So that's it. That's my favorites, my myths. Thank you so much for watching and tolerating my husband along the way. It's appreciated and uh, I would love you to subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs up, and the whole nine. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much guys. Bye!